Hello everyone and happy pyjama day from me. So, I want to talk to you today about uh, strings for your acoustic guitar. Not nylon, like these. Which is on classical guitars and children's guitars. This is a three quarter, like I was saying in the video the other day. Uh, that's my little girl's one. We're talking about steel string guitars. So, steel strings. Made a few notes here because this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So 80-20 bronze, they're the most common type. Uh, even though they produce a clear and bright tone, they do age quickly, so you'll need to change them quite a lot. The next ones are nickel bronze, that's for a natural sounding tone. Uh, phosphor bronze, a bit of a warmer tone, um, and due to the alloy, they don't need to be changed as often either. There's a coated phosphor bronze, which is the same thing, but it's coated in a corrosive protective material so that it can make it last four times longer than your normal strings. They do normally cost a little bit more, uh, but the one that I recommend is a coated phosphor hybrid, which is called a Dario XT. So um, it's made from a nickel bronze hybrid and it's coated for the never fade. Um, or the extended life, meaning that it'll last even longer, but the tone is fantastic. That's what I fit to my Mason. That's what you hear when just, uh, the videos are played. Um, there, are all, there are also other brands available. Uh, Elixirs are also great. I use them on a couple of my other guitars, and uh, I've used John Gom's New Tone String Signatures, which are thick gauges really really heavy but they're fantastic they sound great um you might have to modify your guitar for those though so stick to the light gauges for now if you're a beginner so getting on to gauges <clears throat> gauges of guitar strings so this basically means the thickness of the guitar so it's measured in one thousandth of an inch so that's why you'll see gauges uh extra light light medium or heavy um just made a quick note here. So the extra light tends to be 0 0.010 to 0 0.047. Lights are 0 0.012 to 0 0.053s and so on and so forth. So I would recommend using a lighter gauge for now if you are a beginner. Um, they're not as taxing on the fingers and uh, you can start to learn bending and things like that. Um, they're better for older guitars as well because there's not as much tension running through them as they are lighter. However, again, it's preference and it depends on what kind of sound that you want to get. That's why I fitted the John Goms. They're very heavy and I did like it, but I did actually go back to medium uh, for, my, for me. Um, so let's have a look. Changing singles or changing all of them? So again, good question by Josh there. So... I would recommend that you change them frequently, frequently being every couple to few months or even every month if you're playing a lot. Um, it really does boil down to the type of string that you bought and how frequently you play it. So I do change mine every couple of months. Could probably do with changing them more often, but uh, just down to cost, really. Um, I don't buy the cheaper strings, but that's because I like the way they sound. So. You really have to weigh up whether you want to spend 20 quid a month, um, £10 a month, or every few months. It's completely up to you. Um, singles or against them all. <clears throat> I would change them all if you're going to change them. It's a bit like servicing a car. You wouldn't just change one filter. you change them all. Um, however, I have got a spur set for when gigs, when you start playing gigs. So always keep a spare set due to the fact that if you snap a string during a gig, what are you gonna do? If you haven't got another guitar, you better just grab the, whichever string that you snapped. It tends to be the G string, <laughs> ironically. That snaps more than anything, I think. Um, so yeah, I've got some spur packs without G strings, if anybody's interested. Um, oh, stringing tools. Hang on, one second, should have prepared for this. <clears throat> And typically I can't find one. So I will put a link in the comments below to a little section that I'll find on the internet for you on these. They're fairly straightforward. You don't have to have one um, to change your strings, but it 
it does help it speeds the process up a lot and it makes things a bit neater and stuff it's like a plier set and a string winding tool in one i'll show you in a minute so um again i don't need to change strings at the moment but i think uh, i know the video best suited to show you so um I was having issues myself changing strings, as in I didn't practice them enough to get good at it, and I wasn't sure if I was doing the correct method. So, New Tone Strings do a, a fantastic demo video, which I'll post in the comments below on how to change your strings. Go and check it out. Check out the string store as well. It's fantastic. That's where I got the John Gomm signatures from. Bit of a shout out there. Um, and enjoy the rest of your day. I'll teach you a couple of songs by the end of the week. Keep your eyes peeled. Thank you.